It is currently the second intermission. I'm not watching the rest of that game. Are you kidding me? That is a ridiculous performance to put on in home ice. Yes, in front of less fans because there were so many outside because Axis wasn't working and so they didn't delay the start of the game. So a lot of people didn't even see that we let in two goals. And we had a good first three minutes too <laughs> with a lot of sustained pressure and stuff, but we allowed 22 shots against the Toronto Maple Leafs in the first period, which is a franchise record for most shots in a period. Really Ridiculous. We were down 4-1. We pulled Hill after the first three, which I don't know why we started him anyway. It wouldn't have mattered. Both goalies at this point of my recording have allowed three goals. If only Martin Jones could allow three, or, and then we pull him and allow Samsonov to come in and also allow three, that would be so much fun, wouldn't it? But we do have a full line of AHL forwards and then a third line that has Stevenson in there, but also AHL forwards. They got hemmed in which led to goals for Toronto. Toronto's fourth line with Ryan Reeves on it scored a not good goal for Aiden Hill to allow, but the, the, the Toronto Maple Leafs are one of the better teams in the league. They're on a heater, Aston Matthews particularly. He has nine goals in his last four games. He's not one of the six goal scorers tonight. <laughs> William Carlson got us on the board in the beginning of the first, uh, second, and that helped, like, oh, maybe. I mean, Vegas has never overcome a four-goal deficit before in their franchise history, but it's the Toronto Maple Leafs, so you never know, right? The fact that I'm freaking out this much externally about a 6-1 loss where we're icing the Henderson Silver Knights, I, I'm assuming we lost. I don't even know what the final score is, but I'm going to say that the Toronto Maple Leafs beat the Henderson Silver Knights. I keep saying it because it's true. Yes, we have two full lines of forward. Or we have our full decor, finally. Our full decor for the first, you know, and we lost both of those games uh, with Theo back. And that's the, f we, we had so many injuries to the defense and now it's to the offense. And because a lacerated spleen to the captain, which is the underlying report right now, uh, because we don't actually ever know what's happening with hockey players. I thought it was a shoulder lacerated spleen. That's much worse. Uh, I, I'm, I'm forgetting one key item. I got to put this on for this part because yeah, of course. Vegas circumventing the cap every year. Mark Stone gets injured this time every year. It's not like he's injury prone or something. It's not like the fact that he gets injured at the same point in the season every year, which is conveniently before the trade deadline. Surgeries, doesn't matter. He's faking it, obviously. It's not at all indicative of him actually just being injury prone. It's not like a guy gets four concussions. Man, he's just eating up the head stuff. He must really like taking, you know, head medication. That That's a totally a thing, right? It's not like each consent Executive injury makes it get worse, you know? That's like not a thing. Two back surgeries in less than a calendar year, and yeah, he's healthy enough for game one of the playoffs. Yep, that, that's just because we're Gary Bettman's favorite. We, obviously, and, and this whole 6-1 loss in the first two periods to the Toronto Maple Leafs is totally a play to just uh, silence the haters that are saying that Vegas is doing this on purpose. It's, it's a ploy, and I see right through it. Vegas golden frauds, cheaters that are doing everything within the legitimate rules of the NHL that no owner is changing, and despite the fact that Tampa Bay brought this up in 2015 after the Blackhawks beat them because they were technically over the salary cap for the playoffs, and that's a legal thing to do. They voted to change it? Nope, they kept it. And then they did the exact same thing when they won the cup. Vegas, even though they didn't, the, the, their roster on ice last year, it wasn't over. It doesn't matter because that, it's still cheating. Even though the NHL rule book says it's technically allowed, it doesn't matter. I know, I know better, you know? I wish I had an Oilers jersey right now. Despite the fact that they're doing it too. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Toronto Maple Leafs are doing it. Every Canadian team, the, every team that's in a playoff spot are over the salary cap. They're only complaining about Vegas. There's a reason I wore the shirt today. I'm done. This is it. Thank you. That's going to be it for Game 57's Nightly Review, I think. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. I'm not even angry about the 6-1 loss. We're losing to... We're icing half an AHL team. Of course we're going to be losing to the Toronto Maple Leafs. We are playing against Martin Jones, but... He's a third-string goalie this year. Must be why he looks like a Vesna candidate. <laughs>